Ten past seven. Welcome back to Wednesday's Daybreak. Now, two young women from Britain have been jailed for six years and eight months for trying to smuggle cocaine out of Peru. Melissa Reid and Michaela McCollum were arrested when cocaine worth one and a half million pounds was found in their luggage. And in just a moment, we'll hear from Michaela's mother and sister for the first TV interview. But first, a reminder of the story. Two women from the UK accused of drug smuggling have appeared... The say they were forced to carry up to 12 kilos of cocaine by armed drugs. Worth an estimated one and a half million pounds was found in their luggage. From the moment Michaela McCollum and Melissa Reid were arrested in Peru, they always protested their innocence. I was forced to take these bags in my luggage. But then in September came a dramatic twist. They pled guilty, hoping they'd get a reduced jail sentence. Melissa has never been involved in any sort of trouble whatsoever. Up until a few weeks ago, they'd been held in separate cells at this notorious prison. Melissa's father visited her shortly after her arrest to celebrate her 20th birthday. Conditions um, are OK right. and not as bad as we had were led to believe. And now the girls face nearly seven years in a Peruvian prison with little hope of returning home. Well, Michaela's sister, Samantha, and mother, Nora, join me from Belfast this morning. Um, Nora, first of all, if I can ask you, how are you feeling this morning after this, um, th this result, after the sentencing? How are you feeling? Well, I'm relieved that it's all over, that she has been sentenced. And do you think, I mean, they pled guilty to have the sentence reduced, obviously, and that, that has worked. But do you think that she did it? Do you think that she's guilty? In my opinion, Michaela is innocent. And what makes you so sure, Nora? Well, she's my daughter. I know my daughter. Is there any sort of sense of you being a bit angry that with her for putting you through this ordeal? I mean, I know you're a really, really close family and it must have been absolutely shattering for you. Um, is there any sense of, of anger there at all? Are you cross with her? No. No. <laughs> We're not cross with her. We're not cross with her, no. We fully support her. Fully support her. Because a lot of people have said that this story just simply didn't add up and it must have been such a shock to you when you found out what had happened. Yeah, of course it was a shock to us, yes. She was meant to be in Ibiza and then all of a sudden she was in Peru. You know? No, I can, I can understand. As, as I said, you're a, you are a very, very close family and it must have been very difficult for you. What sort of contact have you had with your daughter, Nora? Well, she phones me every day. I'll be talking on the phone to her every day. Right. What's she been able to say to you? Well, just more day-to-day -day stuff, what's going on there, and I tell her what's going on back home. <laughs> And that must be very reassuring for you um, that you can actually speak to her. Does she talk about at all what conditions are like there? Because we've heard that this prison is, is pretty tough, you know, it's, it's, it's quite difficult out there. Has she been able to describe what that's been like for her? Uh, well, it is. Like, there's no there's cold showers, cold water, and she has to buy everything out there. Right. And how is she able to, to get that money? Are you able to help her with that? Yes, yeah. yes, we send her the money. Right. It's, very, it's, it's really, really hard for you. Um, Samantha, you must miss your sister so much. As I said, you, you are a very, very close family. Um, I believe Stephanie, your other sister, has been out to see her. But, you know, not being in contact with her must be incredibly difficult. How has it been for you? I'm just devastated. I just wish I could just look after and protect her. She does seem, though, from certainly from what we've witnessed, she does seem very composed, you know, remarkably in control about it all. Is that just the kind of person she is? Well, she would be very into her faith, and I think that faith has brought her and made her very strong. She tries to think the positive and not let any negative thoughts in and try to be grateful for what she has and to have a good family and a good support network. Sure. And when do you hope to see her again? Have you got any plans to go out there? 
we would love to go out as soon as possible. It's, um, Christmas is going to be very difficult for you, isn't it? As a family, that's going to be really hard. How is that going to be for you? We have blank Christmas well, out, so we're not Christmas celebrating is not Christmas. Hard. OK, well, look, we're going to talk to you lots later on. Thank you very much indeed for joining us this morning, because I know how difficult it is for you. Thank you. I'll be hearing more from Michaela's mum and sister at 10 past eight. You can tell us what you think um, of, of that, of what you've just heard. The details of how to get in touch are on the screen there. Now then, it's a quarter past seven. I still to come this morning.